You know, for like this kind of isekai show where there's like a really ridiculous chuny OP main character, I thought that I, I was quite surprised by how much of the entertainment and the enjoyment from the anime that I get from the character interactions. Not just between Anos and Michelle, although those things are so good, but from the parents as well. Usually the parents are neglected in most anime, especially like because usually anime is based on like the main character being like a high school student, but he happens to live alone. Parents are gone. Why? So that they can always bring girls over and it just happens to be like a teenage boy's fantasy, right? But here we have such supportive parents. They are just without a doubt the best representation of parents I've ever seen in anime. And I'm sure this isn't the most important thing. No one really cares about the representation of parents or what they should be like in anime. But hey, if you're ever thinking about becoming parents, be like Anos' mom and dad. They are the best. Welcome back to another episode of the Misfit of Demon School Academy. We're gonna get into the sword, the magic sword tournament. Last episode had a lot of really plot heavy moments with um, a little bit of Ray about his mom, about something about how half spirit, half demon is supposed to have shorter lifespans. And also we had the other, one of the seven emperors that talked to us about uh, the, the past and 2000 years and who this Abos person could be. There's a lot of shit that's going on and I'm just kind of just overwhelmed by it. I'm mostly just <laughs> watching it for, you know, the Misha scenes and the mommy scenes. So I'm sure there's going to be a lot of things that I kind of neglect or overlook. But hopefully I'm still able to keep up with the plot. Right now, we're about to fight Sensei Amelia's brother. Oh my god, I hate that teacher so fucking much. Am I being unreasonable for hating her? Look how she treats all the hybrids, man. I just hate her so much. But this episode... Her brother is about to get humiliated. This is the first match. And I cannot wait for the look on that teacher. But you know what the worst part is? Even after we show how shameless the teacher is by like kind of... Remember when the scepter was hidden in the students and Anos basically said, Yo, if you're gonna try pulling this shit, at least, you know, be better at it. And we kind of just basically told her, we know that you did it. She has no fucking shame. And despite that, she doesn't take a time to reflect and be like, you know what? Maybe I'm the problem. But she's like, fuck them kids, no. Fuck them hybrids in, spe in this specific. And she continues to look down on the hybrids and continues to set up deploys for and traps for Anos. I'm sure in, the, in this tournament, there's going to be moments where uh, Anos is going to be somehow handicapped because of some scummy shit that the roles are doing. No doubt. But Anos, he, he doesn't need the sword, to be honest. Even like that sword, I appreciate it, but I'm sure he could fight with his hand. Let's watch what happens in today's episode. <laughs> Oh, we're getting right into it. It's a big ice sword looking thing. The fan club! Chorus number two? How many numbers are there? Oh my god, they're at the actual anthem! He hasn't even drawn the sword yet. You're not worthy. Yo, he's he's running out of breath. Oh, fancy. But... Oh, he drew the sword! I can't believe we have a cheering squad. This is actually so good. We promised to beat this guy up in five minutes, right? Get out of here, dude. Oh, even a sword got destroyed. It can't be. Oh, one minute. Oh, I thought we said five minutes. Never mind. It was one minute. But I expect everybody to look down on him. Oh, look at Misha, mommy, and daddy. What? A lowly sword. It's not a lowly sword, though, is it? A true craftsman. Forged so lovingly. That's, that's right. Dad went out of his way to get injured to craft his sword to get that mineral, right? Right beside you. <laughs> this is so good. Okay, Emilia. Let's see. Yeah, you're gonna attack him right now? Are you gonna attack him right now? Come on, do it. There's no way he would join that. But more? No, no, no. It's for his mom. There's gotta be a reason. It's gotta be the mom. Bro, what happened in the like in the span of one episode? He went from such a nice person to this. It's, it's gotta be for the mom. Holy shit. I... No, I, 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 I don't... I don't believe this, right? It's it's too much of a shift after what we've seen from Rain in the previous episodes. And especially because of what we saw from the mom. Oh my god. Hey? 
Do we just almost crush his heart? Holy shit. The attack on Anos, yeah, but that was like basically five bullet holes in his chest. Bye! The fuck? Our cheerleader squad! Thank you, thank you, don't worry about it, yes, yes. Oh, mommy, daddy! Oh, they're so good! Oh. oh, dad getting some recognition! Oh! Master Craftsman! Allowed, not allowed to use another sword, meaning if we lost the sword, what happened? <laughs> Mom, you said. <laughs> told you it's heavy. <laughs> but, um, what happens if we. Because, like, conveniently now, Mom is. Something's gonna happen where Mom loses the sword. Someone takes her sword. Like, Amelia or something's gonna happen. And then what? If we have no sword, can we not even, like, fight? So bored. Because no one was as gifted as him. Uh, Never found his like proper mats because he's got the Saitama <laughs> symptoms right now. He's so strong that he's so so bored now. <laughs> First world problems, man. Man, I'm so strong. My life is so boring now. <laughs> My man is just going around, just, just. He's like Jesus. Demon King, my ass. All he does is go around fixing up, you know, people's families. <laughs> Healing their illnesses, <laughs> letting people know how important the bond the family is. <laughs> it's so good. I don't have a good feeling about this. The mom is gonna lose a sword because someone's gonna attack her. Probably Amelia. I think Amelia is about to send some assassins to take the sword. Look at this. Oh my! Fuck the feature, dude! Fuck the feature! No! Bro, 100%. She's gonna do something with the sword and then. Look, that's some bullshit. Don't listen. Don't listen. And then if Anos doesn't have an actual sword to participate, then he can't. He'll be disqualified because of the rules. This is some bullshit. That's right. Talk your shit, mom. That's right. Slap him. Yo, I hope mommy beats the shit out of Amelia right now. Yo, we have a bunch of witnesses too right now. Draw the sword. <laughs> Draw the sword right now and slice her down! Really? Really? I hated this teacher so much, but right now... Dude, mom fucking like sprained her ankle! Bro, are you kidding me? This is beyond despicable. This is... Some next level of evil, like... The students are all fucked up, not that she ever cared. She never cared. Yeah. Also, they're hybrids. Also, fun fact. They may be hybrids. You know how royals and hybrids, pure and royals have a different color? Red versus like all white. Her outfit, doesn't it look more like hybrids? But you got humiliated because you guys sucked! Like, what does it mean if a mere hybrid was able to defeat your brother like that? I hate her so much, dude. I hate her. Please. How is mom gonna defend her though? Yo, our cheerleading squad! Our cheerleading squad! Oh my god! Yo, I kind of glossed over the cheerleading squad other than Misa because they're like, you know, just a cheerleading squad. But the fact that they're going beyond like this to help mom out, I gotta give him credit, man. Somebody, please show up! Or maybe the eight of them can do something like this. Oh my God. Yo, they are. Even if they lose, they've got my respect. All day. Oh my God, they're gonna be okay, right? They're gonna be okay, right? Oh my. They're still getting up. Sudden death, easy win. Some kind of incantation? No, they're just talking about, like, Anos. Dude! Please, somebody! Don't give up, cheerleading squad! Don't give up! This does sound like some kind of, like, incantation, isn't it? This level of insecurity is insane from Amelia. What the fuck? 
You are actually the bit, aren't they? Somebody, please. Anos? Anos? Thank God. They, he can heal them back up. They, he, it's fine. They can he can reverse. They look... They look so bad for them. It's time to fucking just... Oh? Go to say Okay, thank God her legs are fine. Everybody else is gonna be fine. Now, this is the moment we've been waiting for, man. This is the fucking moment I've been waiting for. Oh, because he didn't really explicitly know every one of their names one to one. I'm not gonna be able to remember them, but this is Anos showing their respect to them, you know? He's gonna remember them. Dude, I love how he's such a He's such a king, man. He's such a righteous king. Usually, girls like this or like, you know, characters like this would get overlooked because they're like minor characters. But look, I'll never forget your names. This guy. This guy. The rhythm is unreal, but he's also being genuine about it too. Now, let's... Let's see what happens here. Let's kill her. No, let's kill her right now. Let's do it. Oh! What are we doing to her though? But like that would be too easy. No, something else needs to the stadium. Huh? Dry your Ooh! <laughs> but the stadium! But we can't let her die. No 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 no. We need to torture her. I'm being fucked up, but Yeah, no. Death is too easy of a way out for her. No 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 no. But you're actually gonna die at this rate, girl. And if she dies, then we just resurrect her. No, not good enough. No, no, you gotta acknowledge. Say the words. Yo, is it fucked that I'm getting like a ridiculous amount of pleasure from this right now? I mean, without context, this looks so evil, right? But, but I don't want her to die. Cause, resurrect her please. Resurrect her please. What? A new girl formed out of... Huh? Wait, wait, wait. So it's not just... It's, it's, it's not just regular resurrection. She got turned into a different person entirely. She's a hybrid now. So she's been resurrected as a hybrid now. The being that you hate the most. Enjoy your life. Now this... This is... Oh, she's gonna try to kill herself? No, I won't let you. You can't kill yourself. You can never commit suicide. Or... Oh. This is... This went beyond my expectations. You know how I said death is too easy? Of a way out? This is the perfect fate for her. Oh my god. Yo! That's my king, Anos Voldy Goat! Man, I can't believe during the sword tournament arc, the thing that got me the most hype wasn't really the fights in the tournament. No, 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 no. It was the scene with Emilia Sensei. Man, I'm so glad we didn't let her off so easy with a simple death. No, 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 no. That's not enough. She needs to get humiliated. And not just humiliated, she needs to repent for her sins. She's been resurrected as a hybrid after admitting, you know, the Lord of Tyranny is Anos Voldy Goat. Man, this is so good. This is such a good, like, it makes me so happy. It's just like, I hated that teacher so much. Every episode, I was like, I hate this bitch. I hate this bitch. One, this bitch needs to get humbled. And sometimes, even though we did humble her, she didn't stop. Her shame knows no bounds. But now that she's been come back as a hybrid, she has to live with herself being the thing that she hates the most. Maybe there will be like a, what's it called? A redemption arc for Amelia. I don't know. Maybe she turns into a good person. Maybe she reflects on her actions and realizes, you know what? Maybe all this elitist royal bloodline bullshit. That's not the case because now I'm a hybrid and I have to live as a hybrid. Or actually, another thing I want to see is her to get um, discriminated on by the other pure bloods. And now the whole thing of this, I shouldn't be, you know, advocating for more like discrimination between royals and not royals and you know hybrids but just for amelia i want her to know how it feels to get discriminated upon this goddamn i hate her so much a lot of good mommy moments oh my god cheerleaders and the mommy moments holy shit that was insane i would i kind of glanced over misa and the cheerleaders 
And I shouldn't call them cheerleaders. They have names. Anos made sure to remember all of them, right? There's too many names. I'm watching too many anime. Guys, I can't, I can't remember every one of them. I'm not a king like Anos, but it's just so good. Like, again, in the beginning, I mentioned, like, in uh, an Isekai Chuni main character overpowered series like this, there, uh, most of it's just supposed to be, like, like brain dead action just to get really hyped. But the character moments, yo. This writing is actually really good. I think a lot of people are overlooking, you know, just because of the nature of Anos and how he's just overpowered and does ridiculous things. I think I'm more interested and in get more entertainment out of the, like, the relationship and the dialogue between the characters and how Anos treats all of them with such benevolence, right? He's actually such a king. This anime is so good. But hey, if you stick around the song and if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists on my channel. If you're watching that video immediately after this one. It helps the YouTube bug push out my small channel to recommend so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.